Hey guys, it's me again. I'm, I'm not Keemstar, I'm just a shittier version of him. Anyways, welcome to another episode of Monthly Rescrap, where we look into what happened this month. It, it's this month's april right yeah no uh quarantine is doing me dirty I'm anyways sorry. this month a lot happened i mean we had the edp drama we had ben Ashton getting knocked out by jake paul we saw ludwig breaking records we saw dream burger we saw jeff Fwitek, E e-boys all of that it was an interesting month it was my favorite month from the past like fucking four months i grew the most on youtube which is good and yeah let's get to it <laughs> Let this be known, let this be known, I am not a First off, the EDP story. I'm pretty sure you guys know enough about this pedophile. He was caught lacking talking to a 13 year old who turned out to be a decoy placed by predator poachers who didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I mean, they managed to go meet up with EDP himself, but had no fucking police officer next to them. They had the evidence to arrest them. They had the texts printed out. You know what the texts had? They had him dirty talking the 13 year old. Had the selfies of him, like the weird angled selfies that made him look like even uh, like an even bigger pedophile. Um, it had the pictures of his shit. I, I don't know why you would want to see that, but it had pictures of his shit. It had pictures of his junk. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all seen it. And if you haven't seen it, I, I mean, I've seen it. I wish I could unsee it. Uh, the, the damage is done. Anyways, uh, one of them turned out to be a predator himself, supposedly. And the racist, which I could, I could, I could, I saw a mile away. I, I mean, I, I knew he wasn't gonna be a good guy if he waited for the video to get fully demonetized to release it. Fuck you're on the live stream. Oh, it's man. dude. The niggers are gonna get offended and report oh, us. Oh, you right. Fuck is wrong with you? This guy just said a racist creep. Ugh. Where are you, black? Yeah, it's probably a fucking angry or something. Oh, you right. I don't want to eat anything. What the fuck, racist for real? <laughs> your body, from your hip to your uh, neck, the, the shirt. Yeah. Yeah, t t take it off. Cause, cause they, cause they ask. Yeah, yeah. Predators ask for a lot of pictures, man. They're, they're sick. Go, go ahead, take off your shirt. Do that and um, stick your tongue out. So yeah, I guess this whole project was a father and son bonding experience for both these weirdos. Sparred with former world champion Jean Pascal and also Anyways, next story, we saw Ben Ashton getting knocked out by Jake Paul in the first round in a thriller fight. Uh, yeah, that's about it. The segment is as long as the whole fight. Morning, end of last month, streamer Ludwig started a subathon. It's a stream that doesn't end as long as the viewers keep on subscribing. Okay. Last week, he decided to end it. I mean, it was an emotional roller coaster. You guys could go watch it if you want. Uh, he probably made enough money to buy my whole ancestry. Uh, and he broke the sub record. Fucking 200k in between those lines. I mean, he surpassed Ninja. Ninja's all-time high. You guys remember how, how big Ninja was? Back when Fortnite was big too. I mean, he was on the Ellen show. He made huge moves. And uh, he beat him, which is mind-blowing to me. Uh -oh. Hell, I got a fucking beat. I'm about to beat his... Oh, wait. Hey! 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 Next up, we have Aiden Ross. Uh, no, not a lot to say about Aiden Ross. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to mention how big this guy is getting and how big his moves are his streams are popping off getting 100k viewers he's having guests like blueface uh ddg uh lil tj lil tecca fucking polo g which was insane by the way he had beef with polo g too which was hilarious so next up we saw dream burger by the way it looks so fucking good i mean if you guys haven't seen it <sighs> it was part of the beast burger thing and people were mad because of the avocados in it by the way it, by the way first off it's an acquired taste second if you haven't had avocado on your burger uh, uh, you're missing out you're missing out you're missing out 
As for the next story, Jeff Fitek. So if you guys didn't know, Vlog Squad member Jeff Fitek got into an accident that demolished the side of his face. I mean, if you guys watch the videos of his, he appeared with like a swab on his face. It was it was terrifying to be honest. But when it happened, he never let out the truth behind this whole traumatic experience until now. Uh, and guess who caused this traumatic experience or this accident? It was uh, Lord Farquaad himself. So Jeff made a series of videos where he goes in depth talking about this accident and the things David made him do. But he didn't seem that mad from David, which I, which I found very odd. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would do some demonic shit to my friend, but never to this extent. To be fair though, who would have thought attaching a human to a rope dangling from an excavator spinning in full speed isn't a good idea. I mean, let's be real here. Anyways, I recommend you guys watch the whole thing. It was really good and uh, just goes to show you how brave Jeff is and actually he's forgiving. Now, I also did think of making a video about him, but I, I was just going to wait till the whole thing comes out because only three episodes came out. So I guess we have to, we'll just have to wait I and see. I say a few thank yous. Uh, firstly, to Rocker for their lovely beef. So the E-Boys are an internet group similar to the Sideman, but you could say they're off-brand. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, they were a group of genuinely funny and entertaining YouTubers. They, it included I'm Alex, James Marriott, uh, Willini, Mimulus, who, uh, by the way, I take a lot from for my videos. I mean, my videos are shit compared to him. So they ended up splitting up due to, I'd say, an unclear reason. But I believe it was just because it was a lot of work. That would make a lot of sense. Ma managing a content group is def definitely not the easiest thing. Especially when the, all the YouTubers in it are big. I mean, they have channels of their own to manage. By the way, it just goes to show you how uh, sidemen re are really one of a kind. No, no offense to e-boys. So yeah, that has been all the stories for this month. And subscribe, like if you want. I couldn't really care. And I just wanted to say thank you for the support recently. It's been crazy. We're almost at 100 subscribers, which is huge. So uh, thank you. And uh, now, I believe I must migrate west. Peace. Steps follow